hi guys and welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to do this video today because this is something so important young ladies especially young girls need to listen to this one we all go through breakups in life and here are some steps I wanted to talk about which are going to help you get over a breakup kind of really really fast and these are some really practical steps I'm not gonna just be telling you put some red lipstick and get a new haircut no let's talk before we get into the video please make sure you do follow me on Instagram here is the handle link whatever and stay connected with me through social media and make sure in the comments below do let me know what more you want to hear from me on my channel so now let's get straight into the video all right so we all know somebody or we ourselves have been through breakups in life and that is a normal part of life guys it happens if you are a young girl going through that just know that you are not alone everybody almost literally everybody on earth goes through that it is a part of life it is also a part of growing up it's also a part of learning so much stuff so point number one in order to get over a breakup would be to level up now you guys know on my channel I talk so much about leveling up already I've done a few videos in the past about leveling up and it all plays a vital role when you want to get over a breakup now hear me out when you start to level up yourself, that means you now have started to take care of not just your looks, but your physical well-being, your mental health, your emotional well-being. You have started to literally take care of everything. And that adds up. And that makes you into this whole new different person. Version number two of you, you know. And that will help you so much in order to move forward. How? Because once you start leveling up, you won't be able to relate to that same person that you were before. Even if it's just a month, you can make so many changes within yourself in just one month that when you will look back and think about the last month you literally had your breakup, you would be like, oh my God, I can't even relate to that same person I was the last month because now I look like this. Now I have a gym fitness routine. You know, now I have new friends. Now I have a new makeover. Now I'm a totally different person. Now I'm reading a lot more. Now I'm more creative. You will not even be able to relate to that old version of yourself anymore. And I know at this point, if it's a fresh breakup, I know at this point you are going to feel like, Oh my god I don't want to get to that level where I feel so detached and I totally understand we all feel like that in the beginning when we go through a relationship everything is so counterintuitive like your instincts are going to tell you to do the shittiest weirdest funniest things ever and many of them if you end up doing you're gonna regret later for example your gut must be telling you to stalk that person to to get in touch with them even if you shouldn't and you know you shouldn't you know it, it will ask you to stay in touch with their friends and all of that stuff guess what don't do that just don't it's not good for you it's not going to be good for your mental health and you know what the main thing is we are here talking about how to get over a breakup not stay within the breakup now we guys always make this mistake especially girls we stay in the breakup for such a long time we just don't get over it like we stay in the process of breaking up for such a long time don't stay within the process of breaking up for a very long time guys once you have a breakup you're done you had it it's done over move on period as hard it is as hard as it might be to do i know it's easier said than done we've all been there but i'm telling you as an older sister or whatever you want to call me just do not let yourself do not allow yourself to stay within the process of breaking up for a very long time you need to get over it as soon as possible you need to accept okay you're done okay this relationship has ended i get it it's gonna be hard for me but I need to do my best to move forward from here. As a person, as an adult, that is the next step. There is no other step. There is no other step. It's just not practical to be stalking somebody, talking to them, fighting over stupid things. If it was worth it, it would have been still going on. It, the relationship would have still been there. There is no stable relationship that will go through a lot of breakups. Please don't, don't have that expectation that this is just a phase, things will be fine. If it's going to be fine, you know what it will be. For now, your job is to move away and forward from the process of breakup. 
do not stay I repeat do not stay in the process of breaking up for such a long time because so many people tend to do this mistake and they waste so much of their time and they waste so much of their lifetime some people actually waste years going over and over about the same fights about the same problems when they've already broken up and things are just not even gonna be fixing again but still they waste so much time don't allow yourself to do that it's hard but it's doable and it's a very practical approach. And since we talk about leveled up ladies and level up mindset so much on my channel, you should already have that mindset already without even me telling you that, okay? And when you want to get over this breakup quickly, that is where detachment comes into play. Again, easier said than done, but you have to get into this habit and mindset of really detaching yourself from things that are just not good for you, people that are just not healthy for your mental health at all so that is our point number two which is practice detachment this is such a good time when you actually get over a, when you're actually going through a breakup it's the best time to practice detachment it's gonna be very very counterintuitive I understand because your intuition is gonna tell you so many other things which are obviously crazy and here I'm telling you something totally different that you might not even want to do right now because you just feel exhausted you feel sad you feel depressed you feel all sorts of ways but I promise you practice detachment a little bit if you don't know how to you know what just google it read books on it just just practice detachment and here is a little challenge for you if you guys are able to do that you guys are going to be amazing i promise you guys are going to go through this with so much grace you're going to enjoy this process and you will be happy at the end that this breakup even happened in the first place so how you practice detachment well for one day i can give you this exercise which is starting from today let's say if you're going through one which is today challenge yourself for one whole day to not feel angry and to not feel any way about it don't fight don't engage don't respond just just stay away stay away go to the beach go to the Bahamas go wherever you have to go to okay go to the toilet and lock yourself if you have to but do not engage don't reply don't talk don't stop none of that none of that no fights no negativity whatsoever nothing zero zero response from your side act like you're already dead you don't exist no more nobody's gonna get a reply from you just nobody especially not your ex that has just broken up with you that idiot one day total detachment no engagement no contribution no more fights no more little texts no more missed calls, no more drunk dialing or whatever you call that, no more snaps, just nothing at all. One day, practice to do nothing at all when it comes to the process of breaking up. Do other things. It must be so hard, I totally understand. But I'm sure you have a lot of hobbies, I'm sure you have a family, you have hundreds of things to do around you. If you actually look around you, you have so many other things. Pick up on certain things that you haven't done probably for a long time. And even if you don't want to, I don't care. Pick up few things and get on with it. Do something. If you like traveling, you know what? Take a friend with you, go out. But if you do do this, do not be talking with your friend about the whole breakup. As I said, you don't want to elongate the process of breaking up so much. And when you're talking with your friends about the same things over and over again, that's exactly what you're doing. You're staying within that breakup period for such a long time. Stop talking about it to everyone. Just, just don't talk. Don't talk about it. Talk about something else. Again, easier said than done, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You have to be a strong person. You have to be very fierce and you will go through this, I promise you. And it's gonna be good for you. I'm telling you that much. You're gonna learn so much from this. You're gonna grow so much from this and you're gonna train and do so many different things that you never thought you were even able to do. It's gonna teach you so much about your own self and you're gonna to get to know yourself so much better than ever before. And right now you're gonna be practicing detachment and that will be, I'm sure, something very, very new for you. But once you get through to this, this is gonna be something amazing for you too. And if you can go without doing these things for like one day, one whole day, get yourself ready, do something one whole day, busy with your hobbies, 
total detachment from the situation if you can go through with all of this for just one day I'm sure it's gonna be easier for you to do this on day number two day number three and this is how the process is gonna be so much easier and kind of so much faster for you however this also means you're not allowed to talk to your friends about the whole situations his friends her friends your friends I don't care you're not talking about this situation again and again repeating the same mistakes repeating the blames and the games no we're done point number three now you read this in magazines everybody talks about it it's a very common thing to say get a complete new makeover I'm gonna say that too get a makeover when girls get a new haircut a new hair color some new makeup go to the urban decay stores at counters at suffrages or wherever you are well i'm in london so i would go suffrages and get me a new some nice makeover and get me some new nice makeup and stuff like that do something wherever you are in your area go to a salon or maybe go to a friend who's good at that get yourself some makeover feel like a different new good person as i said when you level up you actually automatically just start feeling like a very different person and that different person now cannot relate to that person that you were yesterday it is just a very natural thing so please do a makeover now after you're done with the makeover coming to our fourth point which is get out fourth point is all about getting out of the house no matter how bad you feel no matter how dead you feel numb and dumb you feel which of course you will it's it's very natural to feel like that just know that it's natural to feel like that be aware of your feelings be aware that yes this is gonna happen this is gonna feel like shit but you gotta do what you gotta do write this down on a big piece of paper and stick it to your walls everywhere you need to you gotta do what you gotta do so now what you got to do is get out of the house you are since you just got a makeover now you're ready to go out back into the dating world now i don't mean to say go out with different people random no that makes you look cheap you should not be doing that it's just not a very classy and a good thing to do i get it however please go out socialize make new friends Go out with the old friends, but the problem is, if you stay with the older friends, chances are you're gonna stay in the same process for a long time. Why? Because they're gonna be talking about the same things again and again. And I don't want you to be in the same vibe for a very long time. You need to get over it right now. So you're gonna be going out with newer friends. Go out alone maybe, make new friends. So many people nowadays make new friends over social media. Maybe try that but stay engaging with something totally new and something totally different. Read new books, make new recipes in the kitchen, stay busy with your new hobbies or whatever, new makeovers, a new social life, completely. And guys, this process is gonna be fun because you can write these points down and like work on them one by one. Not only is that gonna help you get over a breakup, it's actually going to upgrade and level up your life as a whole. And what's better than that? It's literally like a win-win situation for everybody right here. So don't think you will never be able to be with somebody again because trust me, you will be. 10 years from now, five years from now, you're gonna be such a happy different person and completely leveled up if you keep up with my channel, for example. And you will be actually really, really happy that this has happened for you because as I say, life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. And when people are in your life, they're usually a blessing. And when they leave, it turns out into a lesson. And that's fine because you still win. And in this whole process of breaking up, the good thing is that you're going to find yourself. You're going to find your hobbies. You're going to find your passions. You're going to find out what you're really good at. You're going to find out so many parts of your own personality that you really never knew that even had existed before. So this is such a good journey of self-knowledge, of self-education, of self-development, self-improvement. You're gonna love it, trust me. Now let's talk about our last point number five, which is pray for yourself. Again, you must have heard this so many times, you must have heard this from everybody in the house as well, from especially our older ones. No matter what religion you are, have communication with the creator. Stay in touch with him. It doesn't matter if you're in touch with your friends or your relatives or, or an ex. It, honestly, at the end of the day, that would never matter at all. Because you can always pick up the phone and call them. 
you can always pick up the phone and text them you can always reconnect you know you can leave detach and reconnect anytime you want not a big deal that's how humans work but with your creator with your god don't do these games where you detach and then get back only when you have a problem and then you leave him again no you have to be in touch with him as much as you can and constantly this should be a part of your lifestyle where you actually have so much faith in your creator you just know whatever he's doing to you is for good you need to have that confidence and that belief and that faith and during this process your faith is going to become even stronger just hold in hang in there hold in tight and you will actually end up being a more spiritual more you know uh n not per se religious but you will be more in touch with your creator and i think that is what matters so much pray for yourself pray for everybody it will be very kind of easy and um natural for you to feel kind of jealous to pray for others but get over it pray for others too the more you pray for not just for yourself but also for others and the more you are grateful for the things that you have in your life the more god is going to give you and that is just how things work it's the truth god loves people that are grateful and thankful for whatever little or big they have so please be a grateful person and somebody better will come in your life sooner or later and you will be so happy that this has even happened to you and i want you to get through this with class and dignity and elegance don't be fighting don't be feeling negative don't be swearing at each other don't do any of that typical young stuff no just don't become a mature person don't be a mess and deal with this with class dignity elegance and some brains be wise all right i hope this video helps you thank you so much for watching my video on that note i'm gonna end this video but before i go please do subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comments below what more points would you add to this video i want you guys to write something in the comments which you know helps people get over a breakup and what what you did to get over your breakup when you had one you know i want you to write that down in the comments below i would definitely love to read that too and hopefully whoever is going through a situation like that would also read that and it's going to help them so much as well so please do write in the comments how you got over your breakup or what tips you would like to give everybody and make sure you do subscribe to my channel stay in touch with me through social media all my links again are always given in the description whatever i'm wearing and all the details will always be linked in the description for you guys to make it easy for you okay so yeah for now thank you very much for watching take care bye